Hello everybody. Good morning. It is um, a very laid back, relaxing morning this morning. So um, I wanted to share something that I think is a little personal, but I think it can help somebody. I think what we go through, we actually learn things from. And so um, in my own personal love affairs, I learned a lot, not just about my exes, but a lot about me. Um, I think that um, when you're talking about being in a love affair, long term or just for now, you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about what you accept, um, some of the things that you don't accept, and some of the things that you kind of learn through the years just <laughs> didn't work. And I think a lot of times we don't think about, well, why didn't it work? Like, what, what was it that happened in, in some of your love affairs that just didn't allow for the, the relationship to extend or um, last beyond the test of time? So for me, I think it's important that sometimes we just have to take a journey down memory lane and to kind of see well, what about myself did I not really think about? Good morning, Pamela. Did I not think about in my love affairs that I had? Um, hey, Arkinny, that I had with um, my exes that I didn't learn about self. So I want to kind of give you um, some of the insight that I learned through my own love affairs that I think um, when I look back, some of those things can be um, a challenge to face in self and also sometimes the actual lesson, the heartbreak, the sadness behind it kind of helps to shake you out of your own um, realm of thinking, well, I thought, you know, um, my beliefs, the way I was raised, what I learned, what I want, and all of those things can definitely impact the growth of the, the relationship. Um, first of all, I want to say, um, I have been married, I have been in relationships, and I think one of the greatest things about my life is that it was very unique, just the patterns of it. Um, and I think in love affairs, we learn that um, our beliefs, um, how we were raised, how we um, lead in our life as far as with our expectations of someone else's actions, definitely impacts the love but outside of that a lot of times I remember you know going down the aisle twice <laughs> yes I, I was married twice um, I remember thinking that you know when you first go into wanting to mesh lives you first think about um, I'd be willing you know to to definitely uh, get through some things with this person. I, I'm willing to think about what I can and cannot, um, you know, just deal with. And I believe that at this moment, I can go through those challenges and, and through those challenges with you long term. Thing is, we don't know what that is. <laughs> we go in kind of blinded. Well, no, kind of to it. We go in to a long term, especially if you're talking about a, a legal binding, which is marriage, you're going into it thinking that um, you are going in blinded. Um, and then I always say that one of the biggest things that I learned is I went down the aisle to get married rather than understanding that it's, <laughs> it's out of order. You need to go through some things before you get married. I believe, um, to where you can see what is my capacity with this person? Am I able to deal with some challenges, some triumphs, some trials, some things that I would never imagine? What is this person someone I can really hold that level of compassion and concern and appreciation for long term? Because see, when you're talking about legally binding or becoming domestic partners or you know cohabitating or blending lives, 
that requires a lot because you're now responsible for each other. And I think that a lot of times we go into these arrangements and agreements without really knowing if we have um, the capacity to do it. Um, I think, and, and we need to know at least going through something that is a challenge or a trial, you know, something that the, the you and, and she or the you and he can, can kind of be able to withstand. Um, and so one of the things that I learned in, in my ex's love affairs is that there were moments in certain of them that there was a growth issue. Um, and what I mean by growth is I was growing in my own understanding and learning of certain things outside of our relationship and also learning about myself that was kind of not the same on his end. And so um, the, the interest and the level of interest in and in seeking to learn new things outside of our love affair really capped off our you know, intimacy with each other because I would read and learn and try to find out different things that I wanted to learn about. And that wasn't the same on his end. And so that was like really frustrating for me. And I think it definitely wounded the love affair long-term. Also interest, like I feel like sometimes when we have, um, if we come from different worlds, from what I mean is we don't really have an understanding of where we come from, then that is a challenge too, because we're like, you don't understand me. And there, and, and some of which it's not their fault or my fault, but we did not really have an understanding of where they came from, where they, you know, what they saw, what they went through. And so that also impacted the intimacy because at that time, when I was going through a relationship with he with with these different exes, I remember thinking, I don't even know your world and I'm trying to learn it, but because there's not a real understanding of that world, it, it makes it difficult for us to blend and and have an understanding of each other. So I think that definitely impacted how the intimacy grew, if that makes sense. Um, and then another thing is, you know, sometimes depending on the phase or the season you're in, um, sometimes I, I feel like my part of the ex love affairs was I really didn't know my way or my direction or my purpose. So I was only limited to that man knowing me to only the right now or the the present me i didn't really know or have a vision of who i was trying to focus to become so that man only could see me in this capacity which there's not a right or wrong to that there's no there's no anger to that there's no there's no reason why i would feel you know uh uh just look back and think well he was a waste of time because I think everybody enters into your life for different reasons. So for me, it was like, okay, you know, we were in this love affair and stuff and, and I get it, but I wasn't even to my full understanding of what I was trying to do. So, so to meet him now, he'd be like, I don't even know who you are, which is funny because I have come in contact with, with exes and, and they'll be like, well, when did you start this? Or when did you do that? Or I don't, I didn't know you were into this. And so that's my point is that we couldn't extend or, or grow as a couple or, or really have a stronger intimacy because you only saw me from the, from the level I was at at the time. And not to say that these men that I was in relationships with, um, didn't love me, didn't care about me, didn't have a devotion to me. It was just that in that particular season of my life, there was a lot of limitations in me that I didn't realize definitely impacted how the he and I could grow. Just what it is, right? So when you get to this point of life, I think we should reflect on our old love affairs. Because when you come in, into contact with a newfound love affair that you're now excited over and, and, and really um, into, 
I think it's important that you re remember that some of the things that you learned about you in your other relationships is very important that you don't forget that that can impact the relationship you're in now. We don't think about it because of course it's not, <laughs> it's not even a thought because we're just so excited about the current love affair we're in now. But you take some of that pain with you. You take some of those things that you didn't have in that relationship in your past, you take it with you. So it's important that we look at, am I willing to forgive this person? Um, what's, the, what's the worst thing that we've been through already that I know this person has my back? You know, our love affair can get deeper and stronger and more in depth when I really know the whole you. But first I have to know all of me. And, and what I mean by all of me, we're always continuously growing, but at the present time, I know what I want for myself. I know what I want in my life. I know what my capacity is for certain things, but it takes time to, to learn you in order to share yourself with someone else. It's not always easy. And then, at the, and then the, other, the other X factor is your lover needs to know what is about what they are in their totality, what they desire, what they want. And then we have to see, well, do we fit? Can we mesh this, this, this ambiance of yourself and the ambiance of myself? Can we mesh it together? Can we be on lock? You know, the thing about me is I came from a, a history of nothing but my uncles and aunts and, can, and family. They, they married and stayed married. Just what it was. And it's a powerful thing. <laughs> But, you know, that's not really the current state of what's going on right now. And as a coach, I get it. I understand that people are frustrated because they definitely want to have longevity in relationships. But the problem is we're not really looking at what is it that we, we went through before in our past that maybe impacts our now. And then again, I would say the last thing I'm gonna tap on is forgiveness. People don't really realize the way you look at forgiveness off the rip, just even the word itself, when you look at the word forgiveness, how do you really feel about it? it can totally impact your relationship. If you don't realize that forgiveness has nothing to do with really uh, accepting the violation or accepting the, the, the wrongdoing, but actually it's about you and the person letting it go, if you don't have that understanding, being in a long-term relationship really is going to be unlikely because you're constantly thinking that, well, I don't want to forgive. I don't believe in forgiveness. You did it. I'm done with it. Well, doing it and done, that's not going to create a long-term love affair. It's just not, unfortunately. Um, and privacy. Privacy, I think, is a very big thing. Not everybody needs to know what's going on in your room, in your bedroom, in your relationship in your intimate engagement not everybody needs to have that access to your relationship and i have had relationships where too many people were too involved and it destroyed the intimacy so again you know um just reflecting back on some of the things that i learned hopefully helps you i know relationships are not always easy but there are some pe some people that you can confide in and I always tell people, especially my clients that are going through challenges in, in relationships, I say, hey, if you have a, a, a person that you can fight in a confidant, they need to love you, they need to love your lover, and they need to love the you and your lover together. Because if they don't, then it, most likely they can, they can really give off this aura or energy that is a poison to you, the you and him or you and her lasting. And that's not something you want. So again, share this video. And anybody that doesn't know, tonight I'm gonna have a live um, call where I'm gonna talk about five ways to save. Um, and if you want to join that, just let me know. There is an invitation that I have, um, I'm sorry, an event that I have online if you guys wanna be a part of that tonight. It's only gonna be like for about 30 minutes to an hour, but I do wanna give you guys ways to save money if, if you're interested in doing that. I got five good ways that I actually do, and um, I'm sure will help you to do the same. So again, share this video. I know a lot of people may not um, 
you know, even realize that our love affairs teach us something. Um, no love affair is a waste of time. Sometimes our knowledge that we get from it can really actually help long term um, for your for your future relationships, your future your future love affairs. So I hope I help somebody. Make sure you share this video. I'm out of here, guys. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept.